Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being with us here for a CBS 8 extended forecast on our Tuesday. We are going to be seeing several mornings to come of those cold overnight lows and warm afternoon highs close to average, but not quite getting to average today for this afternoon. We woke up this morning to a frost advisory across our inland valleys that was remaining through 8 a.m. and then expired. Now, as we head toward your afternoon, we're going to see temperatures warm up to the 60s. So this afternoon, we're still going to trend a few degrees cooler than average by about two to five degrees. Ramona is expected to be about two degrees cooler than average with a high of 64 degrees. Average is 66. San Diego's average will be 67, so they'll be three degrees cooler than average. But we do have another warm up on the way that will help to warm by just a hair. So we have another round of Santa Ana's in particular that will come from the east and uh, help to bring in some warm and dry air by Thursday and Friday. That's where we start to see a little bit of warm up before cooler temperatures arrive by the upcoming weekend. We'll jump into that with uh, the big picture here. Right now we have a trough of low pressure just off to our east that is exiting. This is what contributed to those Santa Ana's yesterday. Uh, it moves off to the east and that ridge of high pressure takes center stage, essentially blocking us out from the chance of wet weather. But we do see a minor disturbance start to kind of squeeze down the backside of this trough, of this ridge I should say. So this trough is going to start to sink in on Sunday. Sunday is going to be our next best opportunity for rain in the forecast. This does not tap into any atmospheric river, and that means that totals are likely going to stay on the lower side, meaning less precipitation. So we'll see it start to affect Northern California into Sunday early morning, but you can see how the more residual showers are uh, scattered all the way down through San Diego, and then the more uh, widespread potential for rain is going to be in the forecast on Monday. Uh, showers taper off pretty quickly behind that by Tuesday, and you can see how between now and Friday we hold on to that uh, ridge of high pressure that's keeping us warm and dry, so no chance of wet weather between now and Friday. And then from Saturday through Monday, we start to climb. We hit our peak on Monday, so that's a 59% chance of showers. These numbers are constantly changing as models start to come into better agreement, and that means that these numbers by the time we get to say Thursday and Friday are going to be a little bit different, likely climbing as we start to see models agree on the timing of when that rain could arrive. So at least between now and Friday, we can enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the slightly warming temperatures, dry conditions out there. But again, the jacket is going to be really helpful in the overnight hours as we tend to drop down inland to near freezing and then along the coast, mostly to the 40s. This afternoon, as we see those temperatures climb, we'll make it to the 60s, a high of 66 in Fallbrook for this afternoon, 64 in Carlsbad, 66 in Miramar. El Cajon's climbing to 68 for that afternoon high. Mountains are warming up pretty significantly. They were in the 40s for the most part yesterday, looking at a high of 55. And then Borrego Springs, that high of 68. So a couple things to mention here on the eight day. Number one, between now and Friday, every day you're going to be hard pressed to find any clouds out there. We've got a lot of sunshine on hand. Clear as the eye can see is what most of these forecast models point toward, but that also then means that those overnight lows are going to be pretty chilly out there in the 30s, in some cases in the 40s. Uh, by the time we get to Saturday, that's going to be more of a uh, transformative day as we start to adjust to the expectation of clouds and showers by Sunday, Monday. So Saturday is going to be a day where clouds start to build, temperatures start to sink down, and then by Sunday, more showers are on the way. Sunday is going to be the day where those showers will likely start up inland as a scattered light drizzle maybe and then really pick up an impact on Monday before tapering off before Tuesday. Now remember this is still pretty far out nearly a full week. So with more than five days to go before any of this change occurs, well, these models absolutely can change in how much rain we're expecting in the possibility of mountain snow, for example, uh, in the timing. There are a lot of factors that come into it that can change over the next four or five days. So I'd say for now, enjoy the sunshine out there. We've got a lot of it on hand over the next couple days across the mountains and deserts too. Santa Ana's pick up again on Thursday, and that's when we'll see that boost in temperatures that will last across all four microclimates and take us to the 50s for the mountains, the low 70s for the deserts. Then we all cool down with that next disturbance that comes sliding down that uh, ridge of high pressure, and that's where we see the chance of some showers. Looks like the deserts might stay dry completely, and that usually tends to favor a drier 
forecast model, meaning that less precipitation could be on the way. So uh, keep in tune to the forecast as we head through the next couple days and we start to see those models change and adjust. Watch out for those strong Santa Ana's over the mountains headed east as we head into Thursday. Enjoy the sun last into Friday before more showers are on the way by the later end of the weekend and into early next week. Have a great day, everyone.